Welcome to this MyCom screencast that will show you how easy it is to create beautifully designed emails using a simple editor that's similar to what you may use in programs like Word or WordPress. We will look at two solutions that are very affordable and even free up to a certain number of contacts. We'll start with MailChimp. Go to MailChimp.com, you click login, and after you have logged in to MailChimp, you will be presented with a dashboard. MailChimp organizes people into lists. In order to get people into MailChimp, you have to set up a list. I've gone ahead and set up a test list here, and you can add people to the list either by clicking this Add Subscriber button or by clicking this drop-down menu and going into Import. I like the Import tool because it gives you a couple of different options. You can either import from a CSV or a tab delimited text file that you can get out of Excel, or you can just copy and paste. We'll do the copy and paste option here. Now you can see that you can get all sorts of information, email address, first name and last name. The first name and last name can be added into a custom field in the emails. Click this disclaimer checkbox, click next, and you'll see that they will be added to the list. And we're going to tell them to say that these people are subscribed to this list. And then you click import. And you see they are in this list. In order to send a mass email, you will create a campaign. Then you click create campaign. And here you have a couple of options. You have the regular campaign, which sends something like a website into their email. You've seen emails that have images and that sort of information in them. A plain text campaign is nice because it feels more personal sometimes, as if an email just came from you to uh, this list of people. A-B campaigns allow you to send to small segments and test different elements to see which email performs better. The email that wins or garners the most opens or clicks could then be manually or automatically sent to the rest of your recipients. And the RSS driven campaign can automatically generate mass emails from an RSS feed from your blog or website. I use this from my own blog to send out the content that happens on the blog to people who would like to subscribe to the blog content. And then they get that content as it comes out in an email format. For this, we'll just use a regular campaign. To do that, we'll select by the regular campaign. And we'll select our list, send to the entire list, and click Next. Since this is a test campaign, we will label it as such. Here, there's a couple of options. The main option that you will want to know is if you want to personalize the to field. And this will include the recipient's names if you added their names in the to field to make it look more personalized. You can also track who opens it and who doesn't. You can set it to auto-tweet the campaign to share it on your social media. We're going to leave it all in this stock format and click Next. You can see there's several different kinds of templates that you can use. We will select a one-column template, and it will bring us into the email editor. Each of these sections is editable, and they're also drag-and-drop where it's appropriate. So we see we've got a place for an image here. We are going to drag and drop an image right in there. Once the image has uploaded, you will see it there. To edit any of these, you will simply click this edit icon. And it'll bring up a nice editor that if you are comfortable using any sort of word processing program like Word, you will be comfortable editing this content. We're going to leave it as it is for now. There are lots of other pre-formatted content blocks that you can add to your email. To do that, you simply click and drag those content blocks over and they will appear in your email and they will automatically open up the box to edit and finalize whatever the content block needs. When you're done, 
Simply click Next. When you do that, MailChimp will perform an error check. And if it sees something wrong, it'll bring you to this page that says, looks like there's a problem. This is one of the great pieces in MailChimp. If there was any default content that you left, it's going to notice that default content. And it won't send the email out with the default content there. All you have to do, click Resolve. And it will bring you back into the editing page. We're going to delete that default content there. and we will go through to where we can send the email. Now, instead of sending the email, we're going to schedule this one, and we'll schedule it for October 1st, and we'll schedule the campaign. That's the basics of MailChimp, one of the leading email providers. Another leading mass email provider is Constant Contact. When you log in to constantcontact.com, you'll be brought to the home page. Constant Contact organizes contacts in the contact session in a very similar way to MailChimp. To add contacts, you will click on Add Contacts and it will present you with the different types of ways to import contacts. You can create a new contact. You can add from a file. You can import from Google or other apps. We'll click this Add Multiple Contacts, which presents us with a similar option as we had in MailChimp. And we'll paste in those test email accounts and click, click Continue. And then we will need to add a list. We've already made one called Test List. Add them to the list and click Import and agree to the terms. Like MailChimp, Constant Contact organizes your mass emails into campaigns. To create a new email, simply click Campaigns, then click Create. Here you'll be presented with the different options that Constant Contact provides the default user. You can send an email, you can automate emails like we talked about with RSS files and, and other systems. You can create a coupon. You can do something that is targeted at Facebook, uh, event registrations. You can do surveys here, um, and, uh, or you can collect donations. All of those kinds of emails are pre-programmed into Constant Contact. We're just going to use a default email. And as you can see, there's lots of different template designs in Constant Contact. We're going to select this basic newsletter. And you'll find an editor that is not too dissimilar from the editor in MailChimp. Now, this is different than MailChimp in that it doesn't have the drag and drop interface. But all of the different pieces of the email are here right on this one page. If you want to edit how the header appears, the subject and the reply and all of that kind of information, just simply click the edit button in the header options. And if you want to edit any of these pieces, you simply click the edit button. For those that have images, you click the gear button on an image and click change to insert a different image. You can click upload file And it does bring you to a drag and, drag and drop interface where we can drag our nice poster in and upload it here. Once you upload the file, you can select the file and click insert to insert it into this content block. And then you click save after editing any of these blocks and it will save it just here. And you can see that it's resized the image to fit in this place. And once you're done editing the whole email, you click Save, and then click Continue. Once you've clicked Continue, you can select the list that you want. You can even add contacts on this screen. You can schedule this for later or send it now. One of the great pieces about Constant Contact is that it will send you some results in your email that will show you 
how many people opened it to know how your campaign did. One of the other ways to send here is what's called the next best time. And at that, it schedules it based on what kind of industry you're in for the likelihood that people will open the email at any given time in the day. We'll schedule for later. We'll click schedule and we'll be done. We hope this screencast helped you see how easy it is to design and send attractive emails for your church. You can find more content like this at umcom.org slash mycom.